All right, guys, just off to the gym. Hopefully, I'm going to radio on. Okay, that's good. Um, just a quick shout out, shout out to Stephen and Heather. Um, and a big thanks for watching the channel. Um, <coughs> gotta admit, I've got a bit of a tickly throat because I've just had a cold smoothie. Um, somebody was bringing up how do you stay motivated? Um, it's <laughs> it's not simple. Um, I've got to admit, I know it's. I suspect a lot of people out there who are watching the channel have the issue of getting motivated and stay stay motivated. It is not a, it's, you know, people often push it, it's just, oh yeah, just go to the gym for an hour a day or whatever. It's hard work. Um, not the actual going to the gym itself. I mean, I don't mind once I'm in there, but I've got to admit some days, you know, uh, you're just thinking, I've just watched TV for 20 minutes or, like yesterday, um, I've been trying to switch off at the weekends from work. So um, I played Railway Empire and I got stuck on the level and I just ended up playing all day to complete the level. Um, but still went to the gym because <laughs> April says, are you not going to the gym? And I was like, oh, you know, I could moan about it or, you know, because I'm frustrated with the game or yeah you're right I should go to the gym so I went to the gym <laughs> um, but half of it is just that bit you know where you're comfortable and you just sat there thinking I don't know oh, I could have another beer it's nice and warm by the fire it's raining outside that's all the negative stuff you're, you're giving yourself excuses not to do it well, what I recommend is just not thinking about it and just going, got to go and do it. It's part of discipline. Got to go and do it. I try and do an hour every day. Um, even if I can't do it all at once or go to the gym, I will do um, at least 12,000 steps. So even when I don't feel motivated, I still do it. And it's adjusting to work out how you can do it. Um, because I've got to admit, when I'm busy, when I finish work, I'm tired. It's, it's not like physical from being running or something. It's normally with the fact that you've been using a lot of brain power, a lot of energy, on the phone a lot, just constantly um, doing something. So you, you never sort of sat still for two minutes. I mean, it's often difficult to switch off even just to have your, your dinner break, um, especially if people schedule meetings during them. Um, but the point being is, you've got to get some discipline in there and push discipline as well. Because like I said, when people schedule meetings, just go back and go, nah, it's my lunch break. You know, because what I normally find is people that do that will often query other, <laughs> other times when it suits them. So it's like, okay, well, let's play the game. It's like, that is my, that's my lunch break. You're not paying for that. that that's, that's my time. Same as, you know, when you're supposed to have your breaks every, I think it's 20 minutes every two hours or something. If you've been sat at the computer and all the, I mean, I'm not going down the HR route because it is a bit excessive, um, but I do get it as well and I do do it. I try and like move away from the screen if I've been sat there for a few hours and go and, um, go and have a walk. And that's why I sort of batch my phone calls together. And you think, well, what's the point of that? I says, well, I batch, batch my phone calls. Then I can go for a walk in the park for 30 minutes. Then I get my steps in, because I do all my um, chasing calls back to back. You know, when I'm looking for contractors, when are you coming in, what days, what day are you booked in, have you got the parts, all that sort of stuff. I do it back to back. Um, so you can find ways to make it work. But like I said, the bit where you sitting comfortable you you know after a long day it's very hard to get motivated from that point so like i said the easiest way i think of it is like literally just got to go at the gym don't even think about it <laughs> like i said yesterday even with myself it was like been stuck in this level i thought i'd only be there like um two hours and it was just frustrating me because 
I couldn't work out what was going wrong so I kept doing it different ways until I got it right and I mean I literally finished it this morning hence I'm now going to the gym again um, but I wasn't planning on being on that game for more than two hours I set I set timers on Alexa as well so she knows she'll go Matt you know time's up and I still spent an extra hour today just to finish it but on a double plus um, I got the gym today and it's a smoothie day as well which means no no solid food for me today um, how's the weight loss going well like I said I'm down about eight kilos um, I want to lose another ten but the other problem I have with food is I love it you know I don't like sloppy Joe's type stuff I like good food um, so I've got to admit where I am can often be a bit depressing because it's predominantly fast food and not good stuff um, unfortunately um, so it is a bit limited but it does mean like at the weekends and stuff I will look out for like Korean restaurants or I think next weekend well hopefully get back to Spain next weekend um, but I want to start heading up into Birmingham. Oh, there you go, my phone. Yeah. Bought this uh, hands-free kit from Goodman, Goodman, uh, not from Goodman's, it's Goodman's from B&M. As I expected, it's rubbish. <laughs> um, I just, I really can't stand all this cheap quality stuff anymore. I mean, I, you try and find a decent hands-free kit. I mean, I bought four. Um, and that's just for the UK, but I must have bought, bought at least 10 in, in Spain. Um, there's not one I would actually say is fit for purpose. And I don't mind spending money, it's just that you, it's hard to find decent um, hands-free kits. Um, I don't get me wrong, I get you know a lot of places going, you know, oh, you can't use hands-free anymore, oh, you can't do this. Fine, I get it. It doesn't mean you have to create crap products. <laughs> Anyway, back back on what I was talking about. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, motivations. There's certain things that you can do, um, like weighing in regular can help, but you've got to bear in mind, if you're trying to lose weight, you also got the other side of that, is once you hit a certain point, it doesn't drop off as fast. It, it, you know, you get stuck at sort of certain levels, and then it just sort of sits there, and then, you, you know, it'll go down gradually. You know, you have a strong impact, and they go, oh yeah, I'm losing all this, and then it just starts to slow down a bit. So it can be a bit deflating. I mean, my, my personal view is just try and weigh in like once a week. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing it every day or whatever, because you, your body doesn't adapt that fast. Just do it at the same time every week. Um, but one of the things that is a motivator as well, I've looked at how some of the um, fast food and that's been made and it's not it's not the best um, yeah I mean I've cut down ridiculously on the takeaways and stuff but the problem is is what do you replace it with I mean you can't eat cereal every day and smoothies are okay but you know you can't have them every day because your body does actually crave some decent food now and again so I do have um, Korean and Japanese now and again, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to have a look around, see see what decent restaurants are around with some healthy options. But it doesn't always have to be healthy. A lot of it, it's like it's like everything in life. It's all about moderation. Um, if you eat everything in moderation, you find that it works. An old guy nearly ran over. Ran a guy walking across the pedestrian crossing over. <laughs> Didn't even look at him, he was looking at me. The driver, that is. Um, yeah, so, like me, food is food is my, uh, my problem, because I work hard when I'm in the UK, and where I am, it's not the, it's not, it's not my ideal location. Um, so enjoying good food is one of the things that I crave or look for um, but I do think it's important to recognize that you ain't always going to get what you want 
um, but then if you if you make it like a more of a special occasion that you've sort of earned it for example you did your dietary stuff all week then you can go out for a steak or whatever you want on a uh, Friday or Saturday night same as um, if you get into a routine because you got to remember that a lot of the time we're doing this stuff is for for an end goal. Um, losing weight for me is actually to be around a bit longer, um, feel a bit healthier, um, and just improve my general fitness. But at the same time, <clears throat> that's on, on one thing. It's like we're training, we're doing training. What what's the outcome? What are you doing it for? You know what you know if you're gonna do some uh, some training courses is it is it because you want to be, I don't know become a better video editor um, become a doctor what's the output and remember to reward yourself for doing stuff because I think we're often too hard on ourselves in the sense we put all the work in but when do we get our reward because often it's only ourselves that will reward us for things um, and your hardest critic is always yourself. So, for example, my weight loss stuff, I'm not too fussed on. When I have uh, milestones work-wise or stuff, I'll often treat myself to something. It's where I bought the motorbike for the Philippines. Um, on smaller stuff, I'd buy pens or uh, sunglasses or something like that. Because I think, <clears throat> I think I've spent about four thousand pounds on sunglasses um, over the. Yeah, probably over the last five years. Um, because they're little milestones, you've done something, but they're also relevant. You know, if you look at my Ray-Bans, you've got my Ray-Bans from when I was in Oman, the Ray-Bans um, when I was doing some uh, call center stuff in the Philippines. I've got um, another set of the Prada ones from um, Barcelona. They're, they're milestones and the sort of little memories of things that you did and places you've been. So it becomes like a, a photograph, yeah, almost, because you remember that it's a moment. We think, oh, I worked really hard for that, done this, got some, you know, go spend a bit of money on myself because I've earned it. And it doesn't always have to be excessive, but I do recommend spoil yourself now and again because you only have one life, you're living it. You, you're not going to get a rerun, you're not going to get a second chance, you've only got one. So the key to it is actually just doing um, what you want to achieve and cracking on with it. And remember, it's always important to try and strive to be in a content environment. I wouldn't say, see, happy environments is a difficult one. I can't be happy all the time. It, not without the help of Prozac. <laughs> no, this is a joke. Um, no, but it, the, the thing is, I don't think it's healthy to be happy all the time. I think you, you've got to have some downs to recognise when you're up. In the same time, when you reflect on things, you remember, my God, what a hard time we were having there. And then, but even in those hardships, you'll often find there's some very positive stuff that comes out of it, or memories. You know, it could be that the kitchen was flooded and the house was all destroyed. But then there's a comical moment that still occurred in there where everyone's in stitches for 20 minutes because it, it, you know somebody made a silly comment or something funny happened. And you remember that. With all the headache that went on, you'll just go, yeah, I remember it was flooded. But the bit that sticks with you is the bit when somebody fell over or something else and you'll just, it will still make you laugh today. Um, so the key to it is actually, you know, having these little bit of milestones for yourself and keep chipping away at it because like I was saying there's there's a thing to get motivated because you can actually turn around and say well uh, you know um, if I you know if I work this weekend I'm not I'm not wasting the money I'm gonna buy something for myself you know I've been wanting to buy a new phone a new car a car camera whatever and actually go out and get it have a reason to do it when I was in Oman um, I think it was an extra four or five weeks after I planned my cut off um, and I ended up staying longer. 
that was spending money for me. So I bought April a load of um, makeup and stuff. I bought a bought myself a new motorbike, bought myself a new camera, um, and then when I went back to the Philippines, we went and went and seen uh, Creed up in Manila. You know, we got VIP tickets um, because I said, look, you know, I've been working non-stop, working really hard. See what's see what bands available, and let's just go and spend a load of money and enjoy ourselves. Um, and you still remember them, that you know these moments because they they happen. They're something. They're they're memorable. Um, I mean, it wasn't all great. Like I said, meeting Creed was quite good, but at the same time, we left the window open in the hotel, come back and there was rats in the bloody bloody room. So we had to change hotel rooms. Um, no. There's a negative and a positive and the same thing. But I remember meeting the band more than I do the issue with the rats. Um, <laughs> it is Manila, but, but the point being is, it was a good trip, went up, went up to Manila from Cebu, went out and enjoyed ourselves, had a good meal, um, met, met the band backstage. Um, it's these things that, are what life's about. Um, people that work non-stop and never seem to do anything or go anywhere need to stop and think about what are you doing because the hamster wheel is only turning. It's not going in any other direction. If you're just clocking in, clocking out, clocking in, clocking out, looking forward to the two weeks a year in Marbella or whatever, <sighs> I can't live like that. And I says, I mean, I, sometimes I do feel a bit envious that some people can. But for me, it's like um, the house is the focus at the minute. And I want to pay that off as quick as possible because that's be everything is becoming around that. And I don't like to be focused on just that area. Um, but it doesn't mean you have to take it as a negative. But, you know, at the end of the day, house paid. April and the kids secure, you know, if I drop dead tomorrow, they've got, got a roof over their heads, not hard to make a uh, steady, regular income in Spain, it's just difficult to make a good income in Spain. <laughs> um, they just don't let you, <laughs> unless, unless you're working online. Um, but the point is, once that's gone, it opens up a lot more uh, avenues, like for example, going part-time, going self-employed, running my own company, um, getting away from being locked into an environment. Um, doesn't always mean it's wrong anyway, if you, you know, like I said, some people can do it, you know, but I couldn't go to, I couldn't look forward to two weeks a year um, as my holiday or the the only moments of that you see is real value don't get me wrong there will be times where they get time with the family times with um you know watching football or stuff like that but i'm not into that <laughs> yeah don't get me wrong i'll happily watch basketball um but i'd rather be playing basketball with my kids or um Taking taking the family to go and say see the see the Lakers or another team um, as a big sort of event than doing something that's not as memorable. Um, but anyway, yeah, back to motivation. With the gym and stuff, it's always good to have somebody you can partner with as well. And I don't know if there's ways to do it online. You know, where you sort of motivate each other to go at the gym, even if you're miles apart. Um, the, I'm sure there'll be apps out there for all of that. And that might be something to look at. Um, but I do think it's important to have goals and have something to push forward to. Like I says, for me, I can't be the person who just clocks in and clocks off, just goes through the, go to the pub on the Friday, pub quiz on the Sunday, football on Saturday. I just couldn't do it. It's just not me. And like I say, I'm not I'm not criticizing people that can do it. I, like for me I just can't. Um but it's important to have goals and something to do, something to work towards. And like I said, milestones, very useful in the sense of um treat yourself, you know. 
have a spa day even I mean it's not not a thing for me but um, I know uh, for for a lot of women out there they like spas I mean myself I've never been to one I've been in a lot of hotels with spas and I've been in spas but I'm normally there working so I never actually I mean the, the most recent one was um, where was I yeah, was it um, oh, was a, there's a big spa and hotel out in the countryside um, I can't remember the name of the place oh crew I think it's called crew, crew house or something um, beautiful place but worked didn't use a spa at all um, and that gets back to another important thing is to make time for yourself hence gym today delayed half my day thanks to uh, playing games <laughs> but this is the thing I've realized I haven't been doing um, recreational stuff enough lately because I got too business focused I also had a lot of problems in the last company um, that I just needed to change change direction but like now I'm gearing up from my next trip back to Spain I'm looking at what we can do while I'm in Spain I'm gonna take some holiday something maybe go deep sea fishing go-karting cycling um, maybe even hire a yacht or something uh, out of Tarareca. Um do some holiday stuff for the family because I normally um, sacrifice a lot of holiday stuff and then we have bigger holidays but I need to start rating that in a bit because especially with the whole COVID situation and other issues like the lovely Brexit it does make traveling around Europe a little bit more complicated um, but doesn't mean you can't find stuff to enjoy that's a little bit different but anyway keep motivating the other things you will find a lot of motivational stuff on YouTube there's a lot of good content out there um, but also recognize it's not always good to be permanently positive um, because it's good to get motivated and it's good to head towards something but I do find some of this stuff's a bit excessive um, because you also have to be realistic and you also have to um, yeah it's about balance anyway guys cars get very hot which is bizarre for the UK um, but anyway guys have a great weekend thanks for watching